Hi babes, welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sakela. If you're new, if you're not new, how you doing? How have you been? So in today's episode, I will call this another episode of Becoming That Girl because if you don't know, I'll insert the TikTok right here, a little quick little TikTok. This is the energy that I want to come in in 2022. And so I did a little bit of shopping. I got some pieces. I still do need a few pieces, but I think I have a good, a decent foundation. If you don't know, I'm a streetwear babe, but I'm trying to tap into the girlier side of streetwear, I guess you can say. You, you saw you saw the thumbnail you know what i'm talking about so let's just get into the video everything will be linked down below if i have a link for it you know what i'm saying everything's stock yada, yada yada let's just get started so i'm gonna do this by brand as opposed to by category because it'd be all over the place if i tried to show you it tops bottoms all that kind of stuff so first thing i have to show you is this hat right here i got this hat off of etsy the seller is melanie millinery but yeah, so it's just this free hat when i tell you instagram ads and people on instagram have just influenced me to buy so much stuff but it's so cute like just imagine the winter vibes with this hat need i say more i will put it on but obviously but like just imagine okay before i move on i want to show you this right here i'll insert a a video of me wearing this but my sister made this it's kind of like a balaclava um and she made this for me and i cannot wait to wear it it's so warm so nice she's so talented if you want one i don't know what to tell you she is styling them but she's only 17 and she's only by herself so she can't make a whole hundred thousand of these but it's so 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 dope quality amazing 10 10 she's she's amazing and yeah so i'm really really happy to have this so the next place that i got something from was h and m if you follow me on instagram you saw these boots everybody and their mama been talking about these boots girl so just these black padded boots i got these on the h and m uk site the us site seems to always be sold out they were 34.99 and can't wait to style them and so next up i have a pair of shades from giant vintage shout out to brownie for putting me onto giant vintage they have so many different shades i only got one pair they have a lot of like 90s early 2000s just vintage eyewear so i got these ones i can't remember what they're called hollywood i think or something like that but they just look like that isn't it giving early 2000s 90s vibes vibes and then i got these ones on amazon now these look I was trying to go for like that Bottega vibe. I think they're for like people who want glasses to go over their glasses. So they've got this pageant on the inside. But they just give the shape of the Bottega shades. And I don't know what they look like on. Right? I feel like they're kind of cool. Like imagine with a slick middle pod, bone straight. Right? I don't know. You tell me. And I just wanted to show you these because i have had these since 2015 i just brought them back with me from him because like i was this girl when i was like 20 years old wearing construction goggles for fashion and then i left i lost that girl and now i'm moving back to her look at that how great is that you can buy stuff like this at hardware stores first place i want to show you guys is shein i don't really shop on shein like that no more but i really just went on there for accessories because they do have good accessories i ain't getting capped to you but i don't really be is too tough so first thing i got are these boots another pair of boots so they're these like cream white taupey colored boots they have this nice white fur lining and it's fur lines all the way into the inside of the shoe i do have makeup on my hand and i just got makeup on the inside of this boot um it does have this sole which is kind of like eh but you can't really see the other only a little bit right here but these i think would be really cute like a whole cream fit i don't have many cream items but a whole cream fit with these boots love it and then next two accessories i got is some eyewear because she ends eyewear 10 10. so i got another similar i have a lot of black shades i don't have a matte black shade and these are matte black so i got these ones right here and that's what these ones look like again i just feel like all of this will look really good with like a bob sleek bob or slick middle part like bone straight 28 inches and the next pair of shades i got these have been around for a very long time and i never got a pair they typically come in like the cream and the pink color but those have never really been 
I don't know, but this one's right here. Oh, girl. Oh, baby. These ones right here. It's eating the girlies up. Eating the girls up with these. Are you mad? Are you actually mad? Like, bro, these are so nice. Okay, and then I picked up this bag. Look at this bag. Doesn't this look like something you would get at a thrift store? It's kind of like a suede material. Has this snap closure. And I just really, really like it. Love the color. It's just giving vintage. And that's just the vibes that I'm on right now. It's just vintage. I'm always been on vintage, but I'm just on the girly side of vintage. Anyway, I also got these arm warmers it's the fingerless gloves essentially so that's what it looks like and imagine it with like like so cute right so cute and then i also picked up these arm warmers i don't like the color i'm not gonna lie it looks a lot more yellow it looked cream on the website but it's definitely yellow and i don't know how to feel about it so we'll see what we end up doing with that but i have them in case i want to try and do something with them and then i did pick up a couple of clothing pieces not much two of the same tops that are just these sleeveless turtleneck mock neck tops got one in cream size small they are a little bit sheer but something to layer with always nice to have layering pieces and then i picked it up also in white again just nice to be able to layer these items and then i got this top now um, i yeah i do need to get some more tops i was a little bit nervous i'm not hesitant to get some tops because i don't want to get stuff and then i was kind of like not really going to wear it so i only bought one in this really cool it's like in a size small i don't know if you can see it but it's sheer and it has all these holes in it and like this is kind of the vibe that i want to move into as like just overall like some of the pieces that i want to buy but again, I just was so nervous that I wasn't gonna like it and da da da. I don't wanna waste my money. So I just got this top. It's really cute. It has ruching on the side. And this can be worn on its own, or you can wear it as a layering piece underneath something. This would feel like a little black bralette or bodysuit underneath. That would be really cute. But yeah, I think it's dope. Now that I have it in hand, I feel like I definitely want to get more pieces like this. But I was just really nervous. And then I picked up this skirt. How cute is this skirt? I did get it in a size small. It's giving very much is gonna be too tight for me, but I'm in the gym on Monday, as of Monday. So hopefully in the next couple of weeks, my waist will shrink a little bit and this will fit a lot better. But this is so cute. It's kind of like a wool, a wool material. So this is some tights, like some distressed black tights, some boots, a sweater. I don't know, girl. Well, we're gonna make some really cute outfits. I'm coming with the looks. This isn't a this isn't a um styling video but styling is going to be coming very soon so next site we have for you guys is miss guided i just need you to know if you're a tall girl miss guided is for you nobody told me about miss guided's tall section and i think it's very disrespectful but anyway first thing i picked up is this t-shirt it's the wonder dog oversized tee i got it in a size small because i didn't want it to be oversized but this reminds me of sisters and seekers i just like the graphic i have a rottweiler her name is dara and I just really like the graphic and I love gray if you don't know and I got it in a small because I wanted to wear it with anything you can wear with leggings boots I mean a skirt layer it uh I don't know everything this is like the quality colors vibes giving me everything that I want and then I picked up this hoodie so this is the tall graphic black this is the tall graphic oversized hoodie black and a size UK tan this is what this looks like and again this would be nice with some leather pants so I go wear my sneak like I'm still a don't get it twisted. I need you to understand I'm still a scale of justice, but I just want to step out just a little bit. Um, but I love this graphic. I love the color combination. This maroon plum color with the neutrals and the I'm gonna look with this. Some leather pants, babe. And the boots, babe. Anyway, let's not get hurt away. So next up I got these pants. Like I said, first of all, I didn't know misguided sold stuff in long. Like, I mean, it's not everything that they do in like short, regular, long or whatever, but some stuff they do. And I saw these pants and I had them in a long length. I don't know what the inseam is. I haven't tried them on, but these are the, t I got them in a size 10 long, center, high knee, skinny jean. And they are distressed. I love the wash. That's why I really got them because this wash to die for. Look at this wash. Look at this wash. Look at, look at this wash to die for. Too freaking nice for it. Absolutely obsessed. Don't freaking, don't even, girl, girl. Does have distressing in, 
more in the right than in the left but the color like it's just this really cream and then last thing i got are these jeans i tried these on when i tell you these slouch like no jeans i ever slouched in my life these slouch like no jeans i'm ever here in my life i need these in every single color i don't think they have it in any other color but bro it's given what needs to be given and again this is pretty tall so i actually got it in a uk tan because i'm not an eight anymore and i have to accept that right now but they're just these light blue denim and you might think like scale you have a lot of light blue denim but none that fit like this i want to throw the rest of them up because i just these are just the perfect jean like this is a jean who wears sneakers i'm um, gonna get into heels you can wear with heels like it's long enough for me where if i wore heels it would still kind of be giving these give okay i'm sorry but these are nice next up i went on boohoo mainly boohoo man but i got a couple pieces from boohoo so i'm gonna show y'all so first top i got is this one right here this is their arizona printed racer top in sage got this in a 10 and it just looks like this. I, I'm only look out for shirts with like little graphics on it, little words. And then I got this. This is the plus knitted pointal cropped cardi stone in a size 16. So I got this because it had the holes in it. It was giving that kind of vibe. Um, I think this will be a nice little lounging piece. A little crop top underneath. Some sweats. You could do jeans. You could do a lot of stuff. I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna style this. Because again, this is a little bit more girly, but I love the color and I just think it's cute. So I got this and then I went to Boohoo Man because I love Boohoo Man and I got this hoodie, zipper up hoodie. Um, it's just a plain, like a nice olivey green colored. The Zip Brew Official Man hoodie in sage silver. So yeah, has official man embroidered on here i got it in a size extra small because i didn't want it to be oversized but this i think would be nice with some camo you could wear this with a skirt you could wear this with like literally anything and then next thing i got is this hoodie in this nice brown color and it's distressed this is the oversized man distressed hoodie i got this in a medium so it has some distressing over it i might go in and try and distress it a little bit more because it's giving very much i don't know i don't hate it i don't love it it's just like it looked a lot like cooler on the website but i love the color so this is giving all the things that a hoodie needs to give for me and then last thing i got from boohoo right last thing yeah again from the man section in a size small these are the tall loose fit cargo joggers with a toggle cuff so it has a toggle cuff on the bottom it does have this like drawstring situation with this you know like the belt buckle the like situation hmm. i'm thinking to cut it out if i'm being honest with you because they do fit on my waist and i don't need them to fit any tighter like i don't need a drawstring to make them tighter but i'm not really a fan of the fact that it has this i didn't realize this was on them but i just loved the loose fit vibe like this with like a little crop top something like you know just juxtaposition of a bigger bottom and a smaller top i'm trying to like get into that mode i'm wearing like oversized everything next up we have asos first thing i'm going to show you is this t-shirt it's a reclaim vintage i don't know if that's an asos brand i don't think so but it's just this graphic tee right here again i'm still gonna be wearing graphics this is in an extra small i just really liked the colors that were on it the cream color of the shirt and then the colors of the graphic itself wonderlust aosta valley really nice and again can be worn with sweats jeans leather skirt whatever you want to do with that and then next top i got obsessed with this color look at this i got it in a uk girl what the hell is the information on this shirt i got this in a uk 8 sleeveless top in this really nice gray taupey color and it has a it's backless slightly and i just think that is so cute i don't know if you can tell because of the backlessness it kind of has a little bit of shape to it this color, something about this color bro, just does something to me. Next up, I got this was on Missy Empire on ASOS. So it's this haltered snakeskin lace up top. How cute is that? I got this in a tan because the eight was sold out. Hopefully it's not that big of a difference, the eight between, between the eight and the tan. Um, but I just think this is so cute. So yeah, it's in the beige croc and it has the little lace detail in the front giving girls night out this would be cute 
over these jeans that I have next to show you, which are from Collusion on ASOS. They're too small. I actually, I sent in a return already. I'm going to take them back to my room, but I wanted to show them to you. And I ordered them in a 34. I got these in a 28, but they fit like an extra small. Like they fit. Um, but yeah, these are from Collusion. I love the wash. Again, it was just this nice vintage wash. This gives, again, like that early 2000s video vixen like you will see this more like in a, in a skirt version when you see the girl is in the low rise skirt with the little small crop top but the skirt had the like really big thick belt on it you know what i'm saying like this is kind of that same wash that you will see in the early 2000s and i'm just obsessed it's such a nice wash collusion has some really dope stuff it's very much unisex pieces um but i don't know what was going on with their size i got two pairs of leggings both tall these are from asos themselves but yeah, they're just these. Look at how smoldy waist is. These are going to snatch me in. We love to see it. And these really nice. It's kind of like a, um, it's just this really, really deep brown, nice color. Really like these. Again, just, I wanted to get some more earth tone, like basics so that I can build outfits around them. So I got these. Really love the color of these. It's close to my skin tone, but it's like a little bit darker. So it's just going to look real nice. And then I think my camera's gonna cut off. And then last pair of pens from ASOS, I got these. Those I got in the UK8, these I also got in the UK8. These are also from ASOS Design. But they're these kind of like, not acid wash, but kind of like a washed gray, white leg legging, if that makes sense. So I think these will be really cute with hoodies. This will be really cute with some boots, um, baby tees, you know, with a puffer coat over top. These are just so versatile. Again, I just wanted to get some more feminine pieces like i have a lot of pieces in my wardrobe that are really really dope but i wanted some more feminine pieces and so i picked up this and i really 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 am excited about this i have something to show you that it's not here yet it was a custom piece not a custom piece but it was it was a it's a made to order piece that i got from this brand they are these another pair of like legging kind of pants with a contrast stitch let me tell you what i realized today because i was looking to see if there was any update because i ordered it on at the end of the year like literally i think like december 31st or the 30th or something like that and it said it's gonna take three to four weeks to ship because they make it to order but anyway let me tell you i just went on there today to check it out and i'm on her instagram and i'll swipe in through the pictures because i have it saved in my you know my saved on instagram because like i said instagram when i tell you instagram has me in a chokehold the instagram ads or what have I have so much stuff saved in my is anyway so I swipe and swipe in and I saw this picture right here and this picture right here was in the TikTok that I put at you know this talking about the vibes that I was coming with 2022 I didn't even realize this with the same pants and I'm just like these are the pants I was literally looking at this picture like how am I gonna I want to find pants like this how am I gonna find pants like this where can I find pants like this and I found the exact pants and I didn't even realize they were the exact pants. Security Justice 2022. Again, everything we want without even realizing it. But anyway, I just wanted to show you that that's what's coming. And just look out for it in a starting video or vlog or some, some, some Instagram story. Something is coming soon. So, last place I have to show you guys, it's a really big haul I know, is Menge Dubois. I only got a couple of pieces because MDV is a little bit expensive. But the pieces are really quality and they are tall girl friendly and so i just had to get me a couple pieces first thing i have is this bag again i tell you i'm just coming for the girly stuff i really like it with this strap i'm not gonna lie to you with the little silver strap oh this is nice but yeah so it's like this um denim print bag it's not actually denim it's just like a regular kind of like that <laughs> you know that material it's kind of like that um but it's really cute really love a short bag i have a lot of these but i i always end up getting the same colors and then i'm just like girl you need three black bags that look just like each other silly really so next thing i got is this top now i have this top in cream but i got it in a uk8 and i'm gonna tell you that this thing is so hard to put on my body child because the thickness of the material so i got these in a uk10 because i just think this is really cute really nice a little edgy with a skirt leather pants which i will show you right now i got the leather pants i have these leather pants already in chocolate brown and in a cream color so i picked them up in the black color because they are just these are a staple like when i say like these are a staple i'm gonna get a lot of varieties 
a lot. I, I wore the chocolate ones like ain't nobody's like ain't nobody's business. So these ones, oh girl, these are gonna get worn every damn day. Really, really nice. And the last piece of pants, last pair of pants I got um are these ones, which I think are really cool. These are uh, these are detachable, you can take these strings off. Got this in the UKA as well. Got this really, really, really thick waistband right here. And then it's got an invisible zip on the side. Um, pockets in the back. They're not you uh, talk too fast. They're not. They're not real pockets. Um, but I just like the pattern. Again, just a nice neutral, but like a different kind of neutral, kind of like a wider flare pants. I haven't tried them on. Like I said, MTV is pretty tall girl friendly. So hopefully, when I put these on, it ain't giving high waters. So that's everything that I have to show you guys today. I'm still only half for more stuff. I will I feel like my wardrobe will never be complete is anybody's wardrobe ever complete but I think that this is a nice start to the kind of vibes that I want to add to who it is that I am you know what I'm saying like I want to be streetwear but I also want to be girly my camera definitely cut off so yeah hope you enjoyed this video like I said everything will be linked down below so that you can purchase any other stuff that I have shown you I think this is a good start to the that girl that I'm becoming and that's on per um next video is gonna be about habits if you are interested if you haven't watched any of these that girl series just yet it's only two episodes but um I'll link the playlist down below or in the card so you can go ahead and check out those episodes because we are becoming the best version of ourselves on the inside and our baby girl so subscribe if you haven't already if you're ready to join the movement if you want to be a part of this fam you know what I'm saying the gang or whatever and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok because the content I'm about to be contenting like never before. And I just want you to know that. So, yeah. I will see you guys in my next one. Peace out. Peace out, girl. Gotta check you later. But